Tonight, a family is warning about a scam that's hitting not one, but three cities in two counties across western Washington. The victims are out thousands of dollars for alleged gold jewelry that they were asked to hold in exchange for money. Fox 13's Alejandra Guzman is tracking the details, making sure that you don't fall victim to the alleged crime. We're hungry, he said. We don't have money. A phrase resonating with the Melancotton family who was trying to do a good deed. <laughs> Baby Lynn says a couple walked up to her and her husband at this Walmart parking lot in Bremerton Saturday afternoon asking them for help. I don't know, I can't, I can't talk, I can't think. And then I just listened to what she said. The family offered the man and woman, who claimed to be from Saudi Arabia, stuck without access to their credit cards, $40. She just kept throwing jewelry. So I thought it's a real. The Melicottons gave the couple, who called themselves Ali and Samira Khalifa, $200. She said it's not enough. Tasked with caring for these gold chains through the weekend, the couple promised to pay them back $5,000 if they gave them $2,000 cash. Baby Lynn says they drove to two ATMs. First, Wells Fargo, where they pulled out $1,000, then drove to this Bank of America, pulling out an additional $800 plus the $200 they had already given them. Baby Lynn took this photo as a couple followed them to the ATMs, their faces covered by their own hands. After she handed over the money, she says they were gone in seconds. How much is it worth? Nothing. The parents of two, a three and a seven year old, snapped out of it and say they drove to this pawn shop trying to figure out how much the chains, rings, and bracelet were worth, but it was too late. That's the only money that I have. I saved that money for three years. Money she planned to use for her children's education. We lost that money. Usually if you think it's uh, too good of a deal, then it probably is. Fox 13 reached out to Kitsap County Sheriff's Office, who says they're aware of the incident and the Melicottons are not the only ones who have been scammed. This is the last conversation Baby Lynn had with the alleged scammers Sunday evening, promising to pay her back on Monday. Her response, I trust you guys. Sad, heartbroken for my son and my daughter. I'm not working. Where can I get the money? All she's left with, gold-plated chains, not worth a single penny, and a warning to everyone to stay vigilant. Alejandra Guzman, Fox 13 News.